Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This is a review for Vatrer. If you want to look in the comments for the links and everything, if you decide to check out their website and maybe want to purchase one of these bad boys, this is a 460 amp hour, 5,888 watt hour uh, battery. We're here to uh, check out a lot of appliances. We got a little washing machine, a um, AC slash heater, an air compressor, a coffee machine, and I got a microwave back here. I'm not gonna show you everything. You gotta check out the videos in about a week of the build, but that's my air fryer slash uh, microwave that I'm gonna be running all of them simultaneously about 5,400 watts, and we'll see if this thing uh, packs a punch. So let's get to it. Um, I do have to uh, wire this up so I do have two other batteries in here inverters only like 1200 watts and it won't uh, it won't take all that power so I have a 5,000 watt inverter which would be uh, sufficient enough so I'm gonna try to keep it under 5,000 watts maybe 4,500 ish just because of that inverter um, but I'm gonna hook everything up here um, flip this switch and everything's going to go to my circuit panel. Uh, if you want to see how I wired this, just check out those videos. But let me go ahead and um, put this in here and uh, we're going to get started. Okay, I have all my wires connected. Uh, this is my uh, one AUG uh, main cable. This is my charging cable here and this is my solar. Uh, I just got them hooked up because that's why I got to hook them up anyway. But I'm going to do my negative side just like this. But the girth of the wires will fit right in that hole. So that is a nice thing that you can cover it right back up. And you don't have to put it this direction. You can actually put it this direction too. which Whichever way you're coming out of uh, the, the wherever you're putting it at. So you can put it like just like that. So. Okay, got everything hooked up. I'm going to turn the DC on. This is my button for that. It turns that big 5,000 watt deal on. So I got this circuit on, and this is my uh, washing machine. Um, I went ahead and hooked uh, three of them up to here. So I have the uh, air compressor, coffee, and the fridge and then I got the microwave cut on on that switch there is the back that's the microwave so let's go out and uh, talk about this and we'll get to starting these up okay we are here about to do the review um, I wrote down some specs real quick to let you guys know um, the coffee maker is 1200 watts um, people don't know that those do take a lot of wattage uh, coffee makers 1200 so I'm gonna heat some coffee up in there um, um, this was tested out at 1300 watts I use my um, digital reader in there uh, this is only 300 watts to wash clothes so yes I do wash my clothes like once a uh, month or so so uh, 300 watts for that and the the big and heater AC heater AC slash heater is 1365 so 1000 uh, 365 the microwave is a thousand so um, they have a nice uh, user manual here 12.8 volts 460 amp hours this is a, a, a lithium iron phosphate the life po4 uh, these are this one's 105 pounds folks so you gotta have muscles uh, to actually lug it around but once you get it in place you're not going to be wanting to move it uh, so just store it in a, a nice place that you're not going to have to keep moving it at all uh, all these uh, batteries they have are 10 year warranty they got a card here that says 10 year warranty we provide a 10 year warranty for all batteries when used correctly in ordinance with the uh, manual instructions if you have something 1200 watts uh, 1365 watts um, and uh, 1300 watts 
don't use a long extension cord uh, to where you need to go because it's going to heat that cord up unless you use a really thick cord. Uh, this is actually uh, kind of thick extension cords, but I recommend not using extension cords with any appliance that's uh, that the wattage is like that. But with that said, disclaimer. Uh